You guys have probably already seen this tag going around, but it was done by Samantha March and Allie Glines, and they thought up this tag together. And it's all about palettes, all about our eyeshadow palette collections. So they just thought up a few questions as, as is, this is my most whatever palette, and you grab a palette out of your collection, and that's what you show. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing this tag that these, these gals thought up. I'll make sure that I link both of their videos below so that you can see those. They did a fantastic job on them. I've been a Samantha March fan for a long, long time. And then Allie is from my home state. So I've been a fan of hers for a little over a year since I found her. So really exciting to see two of my favorite YouTubers come together and create a tag that other YouTubers like myself can do. So One thing is I do know that I have recently been doing a lot of palette videos. I did my top 10 palettes for spring and then I did a ranking palette for Juvia's Place. So I know that this is coming on the heels of all that. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about eyeshadow palettes, but it is a subject that I absolutely love. So I wanted to do this tag right away. So I hope that you do enjoy this. If you're new to my channel, I do invite you to please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of any videos that I'm having coming up. And also if you're new or if you have been around for a while, I thank you so much for spending a bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it does help me so much. And I love all of you guys and appreciate you so much because without you, my channel would be nothing. So let's get into these questions and we'll find out all about my eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so the first question is, is what is your newest palette in your collection? And that is the Sigma Enchanted. I purchased this, oh, I don't know, probably three or four weeks ago. And I, I have been wanting this palette for such a long time, but I actually found a code and it, I had it on a day when they had free shipping. So it was like, that's perfect. So I'll list the code below. It is not my code. It's not an affiliate code. I do have one myself, but it's not as good of a discount as the one I'll, I'll get for you guys. And by the way, that's for Glitzy Fritzy Mary. If any of you know it, she gets a better discount than I do, but I would love for you guys to use her discount code because you do get it better. Uh, you do get more off with it. So I love the packaging. The holographic packaging has the colors on the back side. does come with a really nice brush. It's Sigma. It have to come with a brush, right? But I do enjoy these colors and I have enjoyed using this so far. I feel like I'm stuck in a little bit of a rut with it because this color right here is really the only transition color for my light skin that I can use. And so when I do go into that, I feel like I go one certain way, which is more towards the mauve side. Um, so I'm enjoying it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm not seeing its full potential yet. I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold on it yet, but yes, that is the newest one to my collection right now. The second one is what is the oldest one in your collection? And that would have to be the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini. This is the first palette that I can remember purchasing and I just loved it because it was the, my introduction to Juvia's Place and it was one that I was just like, these colors are amazing. The formula was amazing. You know, and as YouTubers, our palette collections go through lots of declutters, but this one has stuck with me and you're gonna see another one in here in a minute that has stuck with me. But I feel like this one for me is very nostalgic because it is the oldest in my collection and I still love it and use it all the time. The next one is what is the most expensive one in your collection? And that has to be the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. This one, when it came out, I was just absolutely enthralled with how beautiful these colors were because they're just the most beautiful, mauve peachy, they're just gorgeous colors. And I, I was so excited about it, but I knew at the time I couldn't afford it. So I did wait until the sale went on and I was so excited about it. I think that this palette is about $65 by itself. That's the most expensive thing I've ever spent on a palette, but I do love it. I'm so glad that I got it. I use it over and over again. And as a matter of fact, this spring has been a time when I have been reaching for this again and finding that I love it all the more as I wanted a more pinky, mauve corally look. So really have been enjoying that one again. And yeah, that's my most expensive one. My most affordable one is this little tiny palette from Wet n Wild. These palettes are $2.97 at Walmart. I think this one is called Petal Primavera. 
I love this one. I use it all the time. When it came, it actually, I ordered it and it actually was shattered right here. So it's kind of a mess, but I really do like it. I love how this just kind of works so well together. It's a no brainer. Any of these little quads that you get, you can put them on and, you know, make them work and have and a very, very quick eyeshadow look that is kind of just ease and because they kind of have done the whole thing for you. So at 297, 298, that was my least expensive palette. The next question is what's your fa what's your everyday palette? What do you uh, go to when you want just an everyday look? And for me, that is the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I know that a lot of people look at this palette and they think smoky palette, but for me, this is such a beautiful everyday palette. Now this palette has been discontinued since then since I purchased it, but I will show you, you a dupe for it that is just as good in just a second. But I love that I can reach into here and I can go cool or neutral and just have a gorgeous look. And then I've got all these colors to reach for and put across my lid and they brighten up my eye look. And there, it's just one of those palettes that even this coral down here and kind of this light saddle brown, the colors just suit everybody that I've ever heard that has gotten this. They just they look at it and they use it and they love it but since you can't get it anymore the temptress palette by alter ego is the best dupe that i found for it now I've, I've seen several different dupes for it but this one in texture and quality and coloring matches it better than any other so if you were interested in the sultry you can get the temptress and then the next question is what is your most colorful palette that would have to be the warrior three by juvia's place this palette Bam. <laughs> I mean, come on, you guys. These colors are super vibrant, super over the top. You would have to, if you're fair like me, you have to blend these out. But they have some next level gorgeous colors up here that I love to use on my lid. Um, these two colors right here, the bluish, um, almost ocean blue, and then this grayish color or the silver color. So pretty. But the, these colors are wild. They're wild and crazy colors. I love them. I have used almost all of them except for that bright, bright yellow down there. But I have tried them all and I like them all. But yes, this has to be my most colorful palette. Not that I reach for it constantly, but it is my most colorful palette. The next one is what is your smallest palette? Now the Wet n Wild was a small palette. Yes, it was an inexpensive one. But when I compared gram for gram, the e.l.f. palettes are a little bit less than the Wet n Wild one. They have more product in the Wet n Wild one. Now I will say that these little e.l.f. palettes, these bite-sized ones have just been ones that I really do like a lot. This reminds me, this color scheme right here reminds me of the Sultry palette from ABH. So it's really pretty. I have enjoyed using it immensely and I like all of them actually. I think I have like six now I want to get the other two I don't know I might not get the rest one because that's not really my colors but I enjoy all of them and I think for you know being a smaller palette that you could just you know put in your purse if you're doing your makeup on the run on the run or whatever I just think they kind of really knocked it out of the park with that so these are the smallest palettes that I have and that one let's see make sure I tell you truffles is what that one is my so. biggest palette is from Morphe and this one I don't know what possessed me to get this palette but I think that it was obviously my love for purple. This one is called the Such a Gem palette. It is huge, you guys. This is a huge palette. And I like it, but it is so big that I find myself not reaching for it. I think that they came out with uh, two others that are this big. I don't like this big of a palette. I found that out after I purchased it because it's not easy to hold. It's not easy to just, you know, put it down on your vanity. It's just, it's a really, really big palette, but I like some of the colors in it. I didn't like all of the colors in it, but I keep it because it's so beautiful and purple and pink. But yes, this is my absolute biggest palette that I own and it's crazy big. The next one is what palette has the best memories for you? And this was really sad, you guys, as I was picking out palettes for these questions, it was like, I don't really tie any memories to my eyeshadow palettes, but then I got to thinking, okay, what would be though? What could I find in, you know, purchasing and using all that kind of stuff? What would be my best memory? And it would have to be the modern Renaissance. Now I did see this in Samantha and Allie's videos for different reasons. Mine is because when I got this, 
I felt like I'd arrived as a YouTuber because everybody at the time was using it. I mean everybody. And I've used this a ton. Um, it has got several divots in all of the colors. But I really did. I felt really special that I was using this on camera and showing people how to use it and doing tutorials with it. So I felt like this one had really good memories because it was tied to doing my channel and becoming a YouTuber. I guess it was just kind of like the thought of having big girl makeup or something. So yeah, that has the best memories tied to it. The next question is, is what was worth the hype? Okay, that is the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette. Sydney Grace is eyeshadows that I'd been hearing about for a very, very long time. And everybody was talking about how fantastic they were and how they were something very special. And I had just been in a ColourPop and Juvia's Place mode where I felt like, you know, eyeshadows, they really are nice. ABH is nice, that kind of thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I got this, first of all, in opening it up, first of all, the packaging was fantastic. I, it was packaging that was special. Every, this is embossed, raised up on the little lace that it looks here, beautiful mirror inside of it, and then the pans are huge. So all of that checked off all the boxes. And then you get in here and you guys, this is eyeshadows that are cream of the crop. I Granted, I have a little mini Natasha Don Denona one. I've never tried any from Pat McGrath. I have tried some from Viseart, but I think Sydney Grace is above it personally. I can't wait to get some of her singles. I can't wait for her to release other palettes. I want more of them because they are that good. So I felt like even though it took me such a long time to pull the trigger on it, I am so enamored with this and so in love with this. And I am happy to do a look for you guys so that you guys can see how great this palette is, if that's something that interests you. But yes, that was definitely worth the hype. And to me, it was so exciting when I got it and saw what it was all about and how gorgeous it was. Okay, what was one that was not worth the hype? Don't anybody throw stones at me. Don't get me wrong, but this was the one that I wanted it. I kept trying to get it. I couldn't get it when it was first out. And then I, later on, I got it. Um, it's the Jack, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And this originally came out, everybody lost their minds over this palette. It came out about the same time as everybody was losing their minds over the Renaissance palette, Modern Renaissance, and the Peach palette from Too Faced. But this palette for me, you guys, I've used it, I like it. The formula is good on it, but I don't reach for it that much. And partly because it has all warm tones. It's mostly just four rows, four of these rows are just straight warm tones. So about 28 of these shadows, I can't use that much. And for me, it just really fell short because it just created an orange or a berry look on my eyes every time. And that doesn't look really good on my coloring. So for me, this one was very overhyped for me and I was let down by it when I got it. Please don't hate me on that because I know so many people love it. And I've done tutorials in the past in it. And um, yeah, the, the looks turn out great, but yeah, it's just one that was overhyped in my mind. Okay, the next question is really interesting. Your favorite palette from your favorite brand. My favorite brand that makes palettes is, is ColourPop, obviously. I love their diversity. I love that they're just thinking outside of the box. I love that they have good quality. They haven't skimped on that, even though that they have gotten so big and grown so much. And I fell in love with them originally from the Super Shock formula, but of obvious, for obvious reasons, you can't do a palette with the Super Shock formula. But when the Blue Moon palette came out, I actually did already have the purple one and the green one. But when this one came out, I was so excited because I hadn't seen blues hardly at all anywhere. And when they did come out with this, they're just such different blues. This one right here is like a periwinkle blue that I think is so pretty. I'm not talking about doing a whole entire look with this, but for accent colors, and for their imagination on where they went with the blues, you know, very deep, very bright, very different blues like the periwinkle. And then over here you have this icy shifting uh, duochrome blue color. So pretty, you guys. This, this blue moon palette, is it just blew me away. It's just one of those ones that all of the textures, all of the formulas, all of the colors, I love it. And them. last but not least is my most used palette. And the reason that I put this in here is because First of all, 
fantastic quality from LA Girl. This is their Fierce and Wild eyeshadow palette. And this one is in the one Untamed. You still can get this on their website, I believe. I don't know if it's in stores or not. I don't think it is. But I love this palette, you guys. It's a 16 pan palette and I used it so much that the top came off of it. So it's not great packaging, but the mirror is great. I mean, the mirror is huge. I'm not gonna blind you with that, but the mirror is really huge and it's be, you know really a great mirror too. But I love using this. I love that there is such a great diversity of the colors that I love, which is that mauve tone. So I can do like a spring corally pink look. I can do a mauve look. I can do a purple look. I can go into the greens and do that. I can do all just neutrals if I wanna do that. So this is definitely my most reached for. And then it has this color right up here, which is just a matte. And if you get too much on your transition, you can buff that into that and soften that. So this is definitely my most reached for, my most fun palette to me. I can go smoky, I can go every day, I can go colorful, all that. So this one, I have been finding myself reaching for it the most since I bought it probably about I don't know, two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. So yeah, that is my most used palette. I hope that you did enjoy this tag. It was a lot of fun for me because it's on one of my favorite topics, eyeshadows. So thank you so much for sticking around. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you would. Let's do, let's talk about the most hype palette that let you down or wasn't worth the hype. So let's do that one in the comment section. If you guys want to tell me about the one that wasn't worth the hype to you, I would love to hear that. And then if you want to tell me about the one that was worth the hype to you. So those two in a comment would be great. And we can kind of talk about it and interact and we can know what's good and what's bad at the same time. So thank you so much guys for spending a bit of your day with me. As, As always, please stay safe, stay sanitized. I love you so very much and I'll catch you in my very next video. Bye guys.